Welcome once again to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Final conversation this morning is going to the uh, judiciary and the little bits of chaos here and there. The CJN first of all summoning six chief judges and of course the Nigerian Bar Association chairman Olumide Akpata calling out lawyers who, according to him, buy judgment. This morning we're speaking with a lawyer, Emeka Okpara. Good morning, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Great to My have pleasure. you on The Breakfast. All right. I'm going to start with a quote from the uh, letter put out by Ulumide Akpata, the MBA president. In it, he says, these developments in our courts are antithetical to the actualization of the just society and independent judiciary that we all aspire to. And they all run contrary to everything we teach and hold there as a profession. So I'm going to start with that. Do you agree with Ulumide Akpata? Do you think that these incidents, these, you know, different interpretations of the law by different courts and different judges are a complete embarrassment to what we call judiciary here in Nigeria. I agree with him entirely. Uh, I think he hit it right on the point. Uh, what uh, is uh, playing out now is something that... Uh, uh, every legal practitioner, indeed, every Nigerian should be ashamed of, especially legal practitioners. Uh, it hasn't, it hasn't before now gone this low. Uh, it's a complete embarrassment. You're a lawyer, and you know from. What you know has been said. It, it it basically points out that lawyers and you know judiciary officers have you know been you know in the middle of this whole chaos. They've been the ones uh, helping politicians and maybe rich wealthy Nigerians buy judgments from um, from judges. Um, what would you say about that? Have you ever been in a situation like that? Can you confirm? that lawyers actually do help politicians by judgment? Well, I, I think it's pretty obvious. It's very apparent. Uh, in the first place, every, an average legal practitioner knows issues about jurisdiction, especially the forum, forum jurisdiction. Where do you go and in which court at which place to litigate a matter. The issue is not that there is a dispute. The issue is, where do you take it to? It even simply takes sometimes uh, just a little sense, a little common sense to know that there are issues emanating from point A that you cannot just conveniently take to point B to litigate. But the, the problem we have especially is that it is not just the head. The whole aspect of the judiciary and legal practice, legal practice is bad. There, is, there are sores all over the place. So, but of course, to start to find a solution to this problem, we have to go to the head. And that is, we go to the judiciary and we go to the point, the CJN, the Supreme Court. I mean, if we have to tell ourselves the truth, the Supreme Court itself has not been free from some of the problems bedeviling the judiciary. Now, can we be very factual? There is a moral body here. How did the current head of the judiciary come into office? Is it not by way of an ex parte order? How was the former CJN re removed? Now, so there is a, a moral body here. That is the problem. Uh, I cannot completely blame the, uh, the politicians. Of course, the politicians, the problems start from there. But if the 
people at the helm of affairs at the, in the judiciary do not dance to the tunes of the politicians. The politicians will not succeed. The lawyers who come to advocate for the politicians will not succeed. Sorry, Mr. So Akwara. That is where we have to start solving the problem, the judiciary. Yeah. All right. So, Mr. Akwara, this is from your, from your last uh, take. Are you then saying that the Chief Justice of Nigeria is not even morally in the right position to fix this because of the way that well, he if, also got into office? If we have to tell ourselves the truth, that's just it. We cannot escape that particular uh, statement. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So, so, so what, what do you hope? that the CJN and the meeting with the six uh, chief judges would achieve? You know, is this really, would you describe this as just playing to the gallery? Well, I, I do not even understand the point of a meeting with them. I think disciplinary measures should be activated. So I think it's not just a meeting with the CJN. He should be operating the whole gamut of the uh, Judicial Service uh, Commission. The disciplinary measures should be put in place. They should be activated. They are there. And I know during the tenure of the former CJN and the one before him also, there were measures that were being taken against this kind of thing. And Certain, uh, many judges had started being careful in not endangering their career uh, by dancing to the tunes of uh, politicians and uh, their lawyers that way. But over the past um, two years or thereabouts, we have seen an upsurge of this kind of thing. And, and, you know, the disciplinary measures that you're speaking of, now, who, who, would you, who would you say, you know, should be in position to en ensure that these disciplinary measures do not fail? Uh, because, you know, course, meeting after meeting may of, not change anything. Of course, it's the Judicial Service Commission, headed by the CJ. You see, there is a difference between the Judicial Service Commission, headed by the CJ and the CJN. Those are two different bodies. The CJN is an office of its own, but the CJN acting as the head of the Judicial Service Commission is a different thing altogether. So, and I think it's the, CJ, the Judicial Service Commission that should be able to handle this. Not just the CJN as a person, a person handling an office, just that office of the CJ. All right. Um, final question to you, Mr. Akbara. Um, if, if we continue you know, with a situation like this, what are your fears concerning um, Nigeria's judicial system generally? What do you think it might turn out to be like in the next couple of years if this challenge isn't fixed today? Of, of course, that we have seen unfortunately, that over the years, the respect for the judiciary has been going down. It's been winning. But even at that, I believe um, most of the judges, I can tell you, many of the judges are people committed to their calling. It's just a few rotten eggs there that give the bad name to the judiciary. I, I, I also want to say that the implication of this goes beyond the judiciary. The whole issue of our democracy is endangered. It is at stake of being completely ridiculed by this kind of thing. Emeka Okpara, um, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us and for your views on this very, very important issue this morning. Uh, wish you a very Bye. interesting Wednesday ahead. My pleasure. All right, a uh, pretty interesting take uh, he has there, saying that the CJN is not even in a position, or morally should not even be in a position to address this issue, you know, looking at the way that he got into that office. Interesting.
Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast this morning. This is where we wrap up. If you want to catch up on these conversations, remember it's simply at PLOS TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, same with our YouTube channel at PLOS TV Africa and PLOS TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Osao Gye Ogbonwa. Have a great Wednesday ahead.